Hey guys, Matt here from Generator Mart. Today we are in episode two of our series on portable generators. On the first one, we talked about maintenance in your generator and doing that very important oil change. Today, we're talking about something a little different. One of the most popular things that you can do when you've got a portable generator and need just a little more power is take something like this parallel kit here and link two generators together to get a little more power. Like you see in front of me, I've got a Cummins P4500 and a Cummins P2500 linked via this parallel kit right here. What this? All right, so we're around front right now. We're gonna take a look at connecting these paralleling kits, which actually is very, very simple. So on the face of your generator, and it's gonna be pretty similar for most of them, you're gonna have two little outlets right here that usually will say parallel outlet right beside it. Your left side or your top side will most likely be positive or red. The other one will be black, that will be your negative. Cummins doesn't do this, so the rule of thumb with the Cummins portables is the left side is gonna be your positive, the right side is your negative. Your ground wire, your green wire right here, that's actually gonna be on your floating ground, which is right down here. Just take the nut off and you'll have a washer in between. Just lock that guy right on. You're ready to go with this generator. Do the same on the other side. That's really all you need to do to connect one of these paralleling kits. They're incredibly simple. So this one right here, this is actually a Cummins 30 amp paralleling kit. You can see it based on the three prong right here. The 50 amp would have a four prong on it. So this lets you know that the output of this cable is only 30 amps and that's what you're gonna be limited to. So it's very important when you're sizing this to make sure you have the correct size of paralleling kit. If you're doing something like two of the 4500s, you're gonna want a 50 amp and that holds true across the board. 2500s, two of those together, you're safe with 30 amps. A 25 and a 45, you can do either. A 50 amp is still recommended, and anything above that, you're gonna want a 50 amp output. All right, two questions we get a lot when we're looking at these paralleling kits is, can I pair generators of multiple sizes, and can I pair generators of different brands? The answer to both of these is yes. You just wanna make sure when you're buying your generator that it is parallel capable. As long as it's parallel capable, generators are pretty interchangeable with these paralleling kits. So as you see behind me, we've got a setup, as we showed earlier, of 12500, 14500, and this setup is gonna work perfectly. If I wanted to do something like swapping this 4500 out for a Champion or a Honda, as long as that generator is parallel capable, that's gonna work just fine as well. Again, it's mostly that when you're shopping, just keep an eye on those features, make sure that generator is parallel capable. As long as it is, you're pretty flexible with what you can do with them. So that's pretty much it when it comes to paralleling. It's actually a pretty simple thing that is really great to take advantage of when you need a little more power. It's a great way to boost that output when you don't wanna buy a whole nother 4,500 because you just need an extra thousand watts. And remember, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to drop them below this video in the comments, hit up our Facebook page, hit up our customer support line, support at generatormart.com is our email. Feel free to call our toll free number. We've always got people standing by to help you out. We've got some of the best people in the business to answer your questions. So make sure if you're looking at generators, come to generatormart.com, give us a call. We'd love to help pair you with the right generator for your needs.